Come here. Come here. So this is uh, the road that I live on. It's about uh, five minutes from the town and uh, we're going to walk up to a place called the Spire of Lloyd. This is, when I was younger, this is the road I'd walk home from school every day. It used to be very, very quiet. It's getting busier and busier. And they've started to put a, build a motorway through it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure the logic behind that. Lots of trucks and cars uh, flying up and down. Here's where we're going. That's the Spire of Lloyd, which is it's like a lighthouse, even though we're 20 or 30 miles inland. Um, I'm not particularly against the motorway, although I'm not sure how viable uh, road transport is going to be uh, in the near future. What do you think, Shadow? Roads, 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 roads. Oh, yep. More road. Um, lots of Christmas decorations on the houses. The Santa Claus. Now I'm going to try and climb up this wall with my doggy. Oops, good girl, shut up. Fantastic. Okay, come on. This is the Spire of Lloyd. I think it was uh, like a work employment scheme in the 1800s for uh, rather than just giving money to uh, the so-called paupers. Um, money and food would be given in return for work. So the local landlord built this uh, folly. It's, uh, yeah, it just looks like a, a, an inland lighthouse. And apparently they uh, would have used it for um, watching fox hunts going on. As you can see, there's a fantastic view here. I think you can see into five uh, different counties. Actually, just behind me now is the, the town. Yeah. Quite old, I think, uh, maybe formed in the early 500 AD, um, and it is a very contested town. Many fights, many different rulers over the years. Uh, there's a famous book from here, the Book of Kells. It's uh, an illuminated manuscript. Um, I have a copy back in the house. Maybe I can show you some. Well, actually, uh, we can go down to see the pauper's graveyard. It's, uh, just uh, adjoining the land with the, the spire and yeah it's a very very simple uh, graveyard, a mass grave obviously um, which I think just one main headstone and uh, a ceremonial altar which is used every day every year to uh, uh, consecrate a mass in remembrance of the, the paupers who are who are buried here so yeah that's it I think from the air it actually probably looks a bit more interesting in that there is a Celtic cross uh, carved into the ground and also behind me again you can see uh, the, the town uh, of Kells which is uh, where, where I lived since I was zero to teenager and I've recently returned to uh, back in May so yep here I am 
that's actually probably a nicer view of the the spire. Here we have erected to the memory of the poor interred here during the operation of the English poor law system from 1838 to 1921. Rest in peace. And oh yes, actually this is quite interesting. I want to show you. Uh, this is the spire, and if we, I got to zoom in on it, just show you this. So can you see that? There is lots of telecommunications equipment in the top of the spire. Uh, some phone companies and others I presume there's probably yes some 3G stuff in there. So when I get my N95 my signal to seismic or wherever shall be going through this spire. So yeah that's it the spire Lloyd. It's an unusual mark on the landscape. At night time you can see it from miles around. And everybody wonders what the hell is this lighthouse doing in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure the aircraft love it. So Shadow, come here. Okay, so I've just noticed the sign and it says uh, dogs must be kept on the lead. So um, I'll have to pay more regard the next time. Put the lead back on the Shadow, come here. Come here, girlie. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Sit. Yep, and um, we're off back home. Okay, so uh, quickly, I'll show you the copy of the Book of Gals. That's the the slipcase that it comes in. And here's the book itself. So, as you can see, it's a scripture, an illustrated scripture, uh, Christian. These pages here are probably familiar to some. So yeah, that's it. The original is not in Kells anymore. It's in uh, Trinity College in Dublin. And uh, 